Welcome to our review of the Apple iMac Pro. In this video, we will cover 1. iMac Pro Configurations We show you some of the available iMac Pro configurations and which one we chose and why. 2. Unboxing and Highlights We show you what the iMac Pro comes with and take a closer look at the display, keyboard, mouse, and available ports. 3. Testing we show you both single and multi-core benchmark scores for our iMac Pro. We also run Blackmagic's disk speed test to see the read and write speeds of the internal SSD, solid state drive. 4. Real world software tests. We see how the iMac Pro handles tasks using the following software. Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Media Encoder, Avid Media Composer, and more. 5. Final recommendation. After a few months with the iMac Pro, we let you know if we have any regrets and if we would make the purchase again. Note, links to the products mentioned in this video can be found in the description below. Let's get started. 1. iMac Pro Configurations The iMac Pro base model starts at $4,999. That configuration comes with an 8-core processor, Vega 56 graphic processor, 32 gigabytes of memory, and a one terabyte solid state drive. You can configure it all the way up to an 18 core processor with a Vega 64 graphics processor, 128 gigabytes of memory, and a four terabyte SSD. This 18 core version of the iMac Pro is priced over $13,000. Although an 18 core iMac Pro sounds like an amazing beast, we decided that the following configuration was our best bet. A 10-core processor with a Vega 64 graphics processor, 128GB of memory, and a 1TB SSD. We figured that this maxed out 10-core configuration would give us greater performance than the base model, but be more affordable than the 18-core. We use a lot of external hard drives, so the 1TB SSD seemed like enough. Our old Mac was the trash can style 8 core Mac Pro with 64 gigabytes of RAM. Our testing will prove if we made the right choice to invest in the new iMac Pro. 2. Unboxing and Highlights Our iMac Pro arrived in environmental friendly packaging. It came with a Space Gray Magic Keyboard, a Space Gray Magic Mouse 2, a power cord, a lightning to USB cable for charging the mouse and keyboard, and of course the iMac Pro. It weighs 21.5 pounds and is 20.3 inches high and 25.6 inches wide. It has a 5K retina display, which is 27 inches diagonally. Its resolution is 5120 by 2880. It's quite bright, sharp, and has beautiful color. It also has a 1080p FaceTime HD camera. Its stereo speakers are the loudest and most bass producing speakers we've ever heard in a Mac. It has four microphones. As far as ports, it has a SDXC card slot, great for transferring photos or videos from an SDXC card, four USB 3 connections, four Thunderbolt 3 USB-C connections, and if you don't know, Thunderbolt 3 is very fast. It's capable of transmitting at a rate of 40 gigabits per second, which is a lot quicker than USB 3.1's rate of 10 gigabits per second, or USB 3.0's limit of only 5 gigabits per second. If you want to connect older Thunderbolt or Thunderbolt 2 devices, you will need to buy an adapter like this one. It's called an Apple Thunderbolt 3 male to Thunderbolt 2 female adapter. The iMac Pro also has a 10 gigabit Ethernet connection and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. A number of free apps are bundled with the installed Mac OS like iTunes, iMovie, GarageBand, Photos, Pages, and more. We also notice that the iMac Pro is incredibly quiet. 3. Testing First, let's run Geekbench software on our new iMac Pro. Geekbench measures your system's power. The single core and multi core CPU benchmark results are quite impressive. This is simply the fastest Mac we have ever owned. 
Next, let's run Blackmagic's disk speed test to see how fast the internal solid state drive reads and writes. The results are also very impressive. Four, real world software tests. First, let's launch Adobe Photoshop. We will open a very large raw photo file. As you can see, it opens fast. Let's make a few raw adjustments. Next, we'll add a number of effects to the photo using actions. As you can see, the iMac Pro is snappy and things happen quickly. Now, let's see how the iMac Pro handles 4K video. I downloaded a raw 4K RED file. It imports quickly into Adobe Premiere Pro and plays back in the timeline at full resolution quite easily. Of course, adding a ton of effects to the clip will require rendering or playing back at a lower resolution. But I can honestly say that this iMac Pro outperforms our old Mac Pro by quite a bit. Adobe After Effects also ran very well on our iMac Pro. Previewing and exporting was very fast. Adobe Media Encoder seemed to run well. And I had good performance in Avid Media Composer too. In fact, I did quite a lot of editing in Avid, and the iMac Pro was very stable. DaVinci Resolve also worked nicely. Note, I'm not a Final Cut Pro 10 user, but I've been told its performance is even more impressive on the iMac Pro. We've heard the same thing with Logic Pro 10. This is not surprising as these are Apple products running on an Apple machine. 5. Final Recommendation The iMac Pro has been a great purchase for us, and after a few months of use, we have no regrets. Some critics have complained about its high price versus a PC, but considering the quality of its components and the simple fact that we have always preferred Mac OS to Windows, the iMac Pro is a no-brainer. As far as its upgradability, we recommend buying the best configuration you can afford at the time of purchase. You can upgrade RAM later, but it must be performed by Apple to not void the warranty. This is the most powerful Mac we have ever owned and we think that you will be impressed too. Links to products and supporting products mentioned in this video can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.